morning dear students today we are going to do a practical to dissect out the elementary canal of sardine so before moving to the practical we just have a look to which are the parts of that elementary canal and it starts from esophagus then uh, stomach to pass cardiac and pyloric part and also uh, very significantly they are present a bend bend so that's an audible feature and attached to the pyloric stomach so many finger like structures we can see that are called the pyloric ck so what is the role of this pyloric ck the ck secrete the enzymes uh, that helps the fish to digest its food and it is followed by a portion of intestine and it ends up in rectum so these are the parts so i'm going to show you one more a close look of that pyloric ck this is not of a sardine fish anyhow this is the appearance okay so let's start, start the practical and like all practicals first of all we need to wet a paper and fix it over the board without any wrinkles to make your practicals neat and at the time of examination uh, before uh, soaking the water, um, that paper in water, you have to write your name, your register number over this paper uh, for the for the sake of the examiner. Okay, so I'm going to take the sardine fish, and uh, we need to work. We need to start our practical from its bend, its anus portion. From that anus portion, we need to make a window like this way, and I'm going to start. At that one with uh, the help of my scissor. Scissor. In this way. And also while doing that incision. We, we can be that much confident enough to uh, cut a, a pretty good deep incision. Because only then it will cut all the flesh and that bone in that region and certainly it will not do any harm to the intestine portion so confidently we can make this window and in this way we can open it and inside the, the that tiny bones we need to cut out cut out all the tiny bones and also we need to open up the opercular to um, expose the uh, gills here we can see the intestine coiled inside kept inside the fish and it is wrapped in a delicate membrane uh, and i'm going to open the operculum to expose the gills we can cut like this v on its ventral side to expose the gills Okay, it's almost done. Okay. Then it's time for us to fix it over the board. While fixing it, uh, we should keep the fish almost towards the top of the board. Only then we can spread it, spread the elementary canal properly down uh, to that board without hanging from it. Uh, means it should have enough space to spread the elementary canal so that is very important to fix the fish on the top and this mother flushing water over the intestine is an important mother that will certainly help you to uncoil the intestine without breaking it so if we use uh, too much uh, means uh, needle or scissor or like that there's chance for it to break the intestine instead of that and one more thing ah okay we need to fix a motor pin over that operculum also to properly expose the gills yes. and and uh do you know which is the important tool you should have to do this practical anybody know so that's a secret tool that is your patience uh, whoever short tempered uh, uh, don't attempt to do this practice because it is so tedious to uncoil the intestine without breaking it so so use use your patience and flesh water 
according to your requirement according to your need in time so here we can see to some extent that because as this intestine is filled with the waste we can see it in dark color i'm breaking all the membranes trying to break all the membranes so carefully So again flushing water. Here also we can see another coil of the intestine. That need to be uncoiled carefully. Wherever you want to pin uh, the skin you can do that to get a good uh, view. So, I am breaking that membrane so delicate. Actually, this membrane is keeping the intestine securely intact in position inside the body of the fish. So, that flushing water is doing its job. Here, you can see that intestine so clearly. As you started to get a good view of that, then you can track, track its path and... Uh, Continue your uncoiling job. So here also one more coil. Here, look here. Here you can see that bend, bend. That's a notable feature in the elementary canal of fish. So you can clearly see that bend, bend here, this one, this is the bend portion, the elementary canal. So again, flushing water. Cutting the membrane. So, so it's almost uncoiling. Still, still there are some portions of the membrane. And here as you look, you can see the pyloric CK in this region. This is the bent, you can clearly see the bent portion here. Another uh, tangled portion of industry. 
clearly clearly you can see again still there exists some membrane we need to remove that to to spread it spread it neat and to have a good view of that So this flushing of water is certainly helping us to uncoil. So here we can see that pyloric CK, this portion. So it's almost done. Okay. Uh, again, still there is one more coil portion, and I'm removing its membrane using this scissor. So clearly, you look to here, you can see that the pyloric CK. Pyloric CK, this one that bent, stomach, cardiac stomach, pyloric stomach. Pyloric CK. Pyloric stomach, bent portion, the portion of esophagus, liver, liver, gills. So, this is another uh, dissection of that uh, fish I have done parallelly along with that, thinking that somehow if I broken uh, the elementary kiln, I can use this. So, now I am showing this too have a look about all the all the other portion of the alimentary canal here also mm, okay and this one uh, this step we are flag labeling all the parts of the alimentary canal so we have labeled esophagus stomach then pyloric ck then the remaining portion, remaining portion, these are the intestine, and finally it ends up in rectum. Rectum. So while pinning this, uh, should not pierce any uh, stomach or, uh, or any region of the alimentary canal. So we have done. Thank you.